What's up, everybody? This is Jose from Sun Life. Hey, Katie. We're driving towards Hartwell, Georgia. We'll be there about 10, 15 minutes. Um, if you don't want to see the rural drive through Hartwell, you can always scroll into the video and bypass the drive in the town. I want to start way over here by Bowman, Georgia. Oh, squirrel. Squirrel. So if you just want to see the town, you're welcome to scroll right to the middle of the video somewhere. You'll see we're towards the end of the video. You'll see both, you'll see uh, Hartwell, but in the middle of all that, we're gonna drive to this little country road and see what happens. Hart County already. So I just want to show you guys what, what it, like you know, a lot of these little towns are kind of small, so to make the video kind of more meaningful and longer, just start a little bit outside of town and show you guys what these country roads look like. Some of the stuff you'll see on these country roads, if you're from the city, you'll just be like, wow. Just totally different uh, environment. All these little country towns are all unique and different in their own way. Hopefully we don't hit a deer or a coyote or, or a possum or a mule or a goat on the way there. <coughs> country road, take me home to Hartwell, Georgia, bro. Was that the most bland food you've ever eaten? Yeah. Not even in the Midwest have I eaten food so bland. Wow, that was bland. These people here got no flavor, man. Someone ran over a mid-sized puma. Where are they? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Nah, you're full of crap. I'm not kidding. Really? Mm-hmm. You mean an endangered Florida pantler? Yeah. Dude, that food was so bland. Unbelievable. Well, at least I know I won't get heartburn tonight. They have no flavor. Dude, that was just bland. I could make Kraft Mac and cheese and it had more People flavor. People in Iowa had more flavor than that. <laughs> wow, dude. Most of these little towns, when you get food, it's like over the top of flavor. I guess in this region of Georgia, people don't have any good flavor, man. It was bland. <laughs> Even the barbecue sauce was like water. Yeah. Well, we don't really have any flavor. Is it, is it a sin to have flavor in your food? Man. I was thoroughly disappointed. Oh. There's a bunch of chicken plants out here. <laughs> oh, it stinks. I wonder who works in these chicken plants because they don't have a large Latino community. Mm -hmm. I don't see uh, local folks getting their hands dirty that much. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're hardworking people who don't like good food. Remember how good the barbecue was in Arkansas? Oh, yeah. Wow, dude, those people in Arkansas could put down some barbecue. Alabama as well. Florida, not even to mention. Florida, Arkansas, Alabama. Dude, that was the most bland I've barbecue. I've had good barbecue in Georgia. That just wasn't it. Dude. Bland. Down by Woodbine, Brunswick, and Oh, Savannah. yeah, yeah. They, they got good barbecue down there. And I'm sure Atlanta has good barbecue, too. But this is just... That was bland. <laughs> I don't think I've had good barbecue in Atlanta. Really we haven't had barbecue in Atlanta. That it sucks. No, we just usually go for Cuban food when we're there. Dominican or Puerto Rican or something. Yeah. That was absolute. And we, we had a barbecue in Augusta, in Augusta, not far from here. And it was great. And it was great. But man, that was junk. Yeah. Just plain. Uh, like 66. Maybe it's not like a regional thing. It's just that place didn't have any flavor. Mm -hmm. Was it expensive? How much was it? It was like, with tip, thirty-seven dollars. Oh wow, that's it. Yeah. Wow, at least it wasn't expensive. At least it wasn't like that bar barbecue place in Watomka mm -hmm. on the north side. What's it called? The barbecue place in Watomka on the north side of town. Rock something or yeah, uh, rocks. 
Champs. Rox was in town. Yeah. The Champs barbecue in Wotomka. Dude, them people could make some barbecue. Oh, yeah. We're in Georgia, but it feels like a town. Kentucky. 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 I want to make it as far as Louisville on this trip. I don't know if it's going to be possible. We'll see. shipping costs? No, we get it. Don't worry. <laughs> we'll figure out how to get it. It's not that big a deal. <laughs> I'm, I wouldn't be on the road for a while. The last time we ordered something, they gave us a month. Now they only give us three days. I don't get that. I think we bought it early in the month. And they're trying to clear things out by the end of the month. I don't know. So they say that if, if they take it back, then they refund your money or they still charge you the shipping. Do you remember how much of it was shipping? Like six dollars. You lose six dollars. And then when you get back, you can order again. I'm getting it. I'm not giving that up. I'm not giving up order slippers. I'm going to figure out how to get it. All right. You figure it out. Let's see they had a tornado come through here. Mm -hmm. That is what absolutely sucks about living in a town where you don't know anybody. You can't do anything there while you're not there. I have other options. <laughs> I have people go get it. It's not a big deal. I think people have time to beat your mail for you. This place is packed with action. 
Tomorrow we'll be able to travel a little bit more. Pick it up earlier. Yeah, we gotta get up earlier. That too. We haven't used up a quarter of a gasoline tank. Right? Yeah. That's how you know we haven't gone long enough. In the town of Hartwell. Oh, they have a Ford truck. And they have a gas Head station. Head northwest on Race Street toward Dogwood Street. Well, that's racist. They call it Race Street. <clears throat> this is like the most bland place I've ever been to. Yeah. <sighs> Head northeast on South Jackson Street toward Race Street. It's a bland town, bro. There just ain't much happening around here. Some strange people. Somebody just got to the word and shake the plants. Alright. <clears throat> In a quarter mile, slight right to stay on South Jackson Street. Brand new car wash. Racist Street right here. Head northwest on Race Street toward Dogwood Street. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Athens Street. Wow, this is boring. Hey, right over here. I don't even see lights on inside the house. They're already like at nine. <clears throat> Six o'clock. Six o'clock, they're already going to sleep. Turn right onto Athens Street. Oh. Z? Yeah. I don't know how to get it. I can get him in. He's he's there now. Uh, later. Tonight. Mhm. Mm I don't know if I can get him in the building. Continue for one mile. I can get him into the building. Getting him into the building isn't the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do that. Whenever he's ready, I can we take care of that. Via Georgia 77. North and I-85. But it'll oh. take a few more steps, so. If you prefer to stay on the current route, tap no thanks. I mean, somebody will let him into the main office, probably. There's those people in there. No, uh, no, no, no. Uh, it's okay. Yeah. yeah well, these I houses are pretty on this street. <clears throat> Total trees are, like, dead around here. He said later on tonight he'll be there? Yeah. getting into our building and help him. He can get into our place. Oh, that's too much work, baby. Look for our key. That's a lot to make somebody do. It's just for, for a $20 frame break. He's gotta get in, if he gets in the office, you can give him the code and he can go to the, in the box, right? Mm -hmm. That might make more sense, dude. He's gotta, like, break into the office somehow. You're not going to have him go all the way up to the staircase, go all the way up to the house, grab our key from a specific place. That's too much, love. You can make somebody do that for you. Just relax. Okay. You're not, you're going to get your item if, if, if they, if you, if they take it for any reason. If they take it for any reason, you can always order it again, right? six dollars and it'll take you a few more days but it's not a big deal you can lose six dollars you're a thousand miles from home i hate how much glare this freaking toyota sucks bro it looks pretty in 600 feet slight left onto us 29 north Some mirror 
sucks. Head north on North Forest Avenue toward West Franklin Street. Well, for being a weekday, it's not completely dead here. You go to some of these like downtowns and they're just like completely dead during the weekdays. Are you really upset about In losing your work for two days? Turn right onto East Johnson Street. Will it kill an orca if you have to wait another three days and lose six large? Would it kill an orca if you had to wait another six days? You're not being reasonable, dude. Lose your six dollars. They'll give you a refund. They'll charge you the shipping, of course. And then you can order it again. Is that a squatter truck? It is. Turn right you're really, up, you're really that upset about this? You cannot have somebody go all the way inside your house because you don't have the patience to lose six dollars. You'll get it, relax. Really, you're that upset about this? In 1,000 feet, turn right onto College Avenue. I can't believe you're that upset about this. I, I'm not. You are very upset. You're just like, oh, well, we'll just order it again. <laughs> yeah, you will, and you'll still get it. What's the problem? This was like the last one they had. Oh, come on, dude. Turn right onto College Avenue, then turn left onto US 29 North. So you're literally thinking, having him go up to our apartment, grab the key, bring this thing and put it inside your house. You're going to have to lease them 20 bucks on. Turn left onto US 29 North, East Franklin Street. Uh, okay, you're going to have to lease them 20 bucks in cash up or something. Probably. Starbucks. What? They have a Starbucks here? A Starbucks, McDonald's. What? Look at that brand new Popeyes. Oh, this idiot with his lights turned off. Dang it. Turn your lights on, you idiot. Moron. And Bojangles. Good thing I saw him last minute. Bojangles. I don't give a crap about Bojangles. They have every fast food restaurant. they have restaurant. a Starbucks? Pizza Hut. He still didn't turn his lights on. He turned on his one blink. Huddle light. House. Guthrie's. None of those places I'd go to. I'd go to the Starbucks. Every fast food chain you've ever heard of is in this town. This idiot driving around with his Dairy lights. Queen. He's he now he turned Burger out. King. Don't talk over me, boy. And he just turned on his one light. Moron. He's just about cost me to kill myself. Good thing I saw it last minute. Idiot. Does nobody cook in this town? Yeah, it's not a big town. How do they have a Starbucks in a town this small? Who in this town can afford Starbucks? That's my question. <laughs> Looks miserable to me. This don't seem like Starbucks people. They really don't. <laughs> Right now he's like two feet behind us. Yeah, that's usually how they Stupid go. Stupid idiot. He's probably higher drunk or something. Probably. Let's see what. I think I saw him there's last minute. There's there. I'm guessing there's another Starbucks inside there. No. Yep. No Starbucks in there. Now he's mad and road raging. What an oh idiot. Oh my gosh. Now he's like mad and road raging. Look at him. His front bite light likes work, but it doesn't have lights in the front. Watch, see when he turns, there's no lights in the front. Yep. Idiot. Chapstick they have an English? Express. Dude, they have a star, they have two Starbucks and an English. They have an ice cream shop. And there's another one because they got a GQ over there. They got Wendy's. Every fast food place you've ever heard of is in this town. That's crazy, bro. The fact that they have two Starbucks, I did not expect that. No. Because Wendy's is like trash food, you know, like... So, yeah, yeah, like every type of trash the food. Inn, the, the Hampton Zaxby's. Inn's not old. Hampton Inn's not old. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, they got Walmart. Tractor Supply. Uh. 
Little Caesars. Every fat, fat, <laughs> every fat people place. <laughs> I'm fat, and I'm like, what the heck? This would be a great place to be fat. Look, Katie. Mm -hmm. This is a great place to be fat. Captain D's, yeah, you know this. The, the obesity Most, rate in yeah. this town has to be extremely high. It's not high. It is. Like, what's the obesity rate for your town? Oh, it's obese. Look at that silver rate, old man. You need a clock. Oh, 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 oh. I love how people in South Carolina stole their car at the squat like it's theirs. Yeah. Absolutely not theirs. Palatka. Palatka, Florida, and Southern California. Mm -hmm. Much more likely to be the original. There's no way they originated it. Mm -hmm. All the South Carolina people do is steal other people's culture. They don't even anything. How dare they take the squat and say it's theirs? What day wake us today? Thursday. Yeah. There's no signal out here. Yeah, we gotta drive straight there. And it'll be alright. Okay, so what you can do is you're gonna have them go into the apartment. Grab our key, run down, grab your mail, put it away, and then you're gonna have to send them at least 20 bucks for doing that. Yeah. So you're willing to pay somebody. <laughs> you're obsessed with orcas. This is ridiculous. Your orca obsession is more retarded than my car obsession. At least cars can be driven. You can't drive a freaking orca. Whatever. You're obsessed with orcas. What am I supposed to do? Ask him for his catch up and send him 20 bucks or something. You're gonna have to pay him some, maybe 20 or 30 bucks at least for doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only thing that could, even if he got it, if he's just picked it up for you. Yeah. If there's no, if somebody, if he could somehow get in the office. Yeah. If somebody were walking out while he were walking out, he could get in there. Yeah. Figure it out. If you're not willing to risk somebody buying the orca slippers, you won't. You don't want to risk the, them taking it back and then you not being able to get it later. Yeah. Bro, you are out of control. The things you make me do for orcas. It was interesting that they'd have two Starbucks. That was definitely yeah. unexpected. And getting road rage by somebody who was mad at us. They know their lights don't work, by the way. Mm -hmm. Because they they turned on the... Once they saw what we did, they turned on their one light. Yeah. But they are probably riding with it off because they figured the cops saw them. So why are you driving around a car at night if you know your headlights don't work? Like, literally, they are so lucky. Like, last minute, I saw the car. Decided to step on the gas so I wouldn't hit him. Yeah. What are we in Lake Martin? Looks like it. There's a big lake here. I think we're about to cross in South Carolina in like five seconds. What's that sign up there, honey? I think we're about to cross in South Carolina. Let's see here. What's that sign say? Campground Park. There's a park. I think we're about to cross from South Carolina because there's like a. I think it's a river that divides these two states. No, it's just lakes. It's a big lake. So this lake, I think we're almost in South Carolina. Country road, take me. In the next five miles, we'll get to place. South Carolina. So Veronica's are squatted and they're clapped down. Just about to talk here.
get where I'm just sitting right now. Yeah. We're well, living one state and going in the other. Mm -hmm. Pop pear pine. Our third state for the year. Right. Our third state for the year. Yeah, I knew like you were T U R D, like our third. Mm -hmm. Only the South Carolina, our third. People are moving to South Carolina. What a bunch of idiots. One of the crappiest states in the in the country. I would quite literally like almost pick like Alabama over South Carolina. I'm not even for me to say that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not too fond of South Carolina. That's a right there. Mm -hmm. Even though the food was bland, I'm still getting heartburn from it. I know, right? I'm getting the most bland heartburn ever. Savannah River. Now we enter our turd state Welcome of the year. Welcome to South Carolina. Welcome to a turd with name. A name turd. How even do you people, get heartburn even, from you know what's crazy? Food. You know what's like interesting? Even people in South, even our subscribers from South Carolina, are not upset at us calling their state a turd. Mm -hmm. Even they're like, yeah, pretty much. It's pretty sad when like. The people in the state are not are okay with that. Like, usually, like when we tell people, like people in Alabama, like freak out about our opinion about Alabama. I'm like, no man, we would never do that. People in South Carolina, are like, yeah, we we do that. We do that once or twice, and it was fun too. <laughs> well, we're in South Carolina. The day ends. Behind us is Georgia, and in front of us is unfortunately South Carolina. Take your shirt off, swing around your head just like a helicopter. And then wrap it around your <laughs> I can't say that on YouTube. <laughs> You're very strict on that one right there. There's one YouTube vlog you don't want to break. South Carolina, take your shirt off, wrap it around your <laughs> You can't say that yeah. on YouTube. Wow, look at that sunset. Beautiful sunset over Georgia. How many times are you gonna call me? Hold on. Hello? Live on YouTube. What's up, man? Hello. Tell. Oh, one of those to hang up on you. Oh, sorry. Look how beautiful the sunset is towards Georgia. <laughs> like we're really missing out on something special by being here. intensifies somewhere out there there's a bunch of banjos just going ding, 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 and a fire is lit a man puts a white hood over his head the South Carolina flag waves and a family with children runs South Carolina! <sighs> then a clapped out 1500 goes so loud that you can't hear what the man's saying. But deep down, even though you can't hear what's coming out of his mouth because his squad clapped out truck is so loud, you know what he was spilling out was pure hate. Check it out, y'all. 